I've got the leaves of celery. Yes, yeah, celery. My great aunt, my father's aunt, she always finished off a lot of her dishes with the leaves of celery rather than parsley or coriander or anything like that. Uh, yeah, after I dropped that curry tuna video on YouTube, you know it was only a matter of time before the stew version came at you. So that is what we're making today. But I must say this, that curry tuna video that I dropped, especially on, on Instagram, Instagram Reels, yo man, a lot of conversation, boy. People had thing and thing and thing to say like, yo, some people were all for it, some people were disgusted by it, and that is all without even trying it. So I didn't really understand. Olive oil, onion, yeah? Turn my heat down to low, move that around. And while I do enjoy a tuna sandwich ever so often, and a tuna melt, the only time, the only use I could find for tuna in water, three recipes. This one, tuna salad, and a tuna melt. As far as I'm concerned, there's no other use for tuna packed in water. Nah, get the one with the oil. Forget the one with the tomato paste and all them kind of simi dimi kind of thing. No, get the one with the oil, much better. But anyhow, we're gonna sweat that down we have a word in the Caribbean, especially in Trinidad and Tobago, where I am from. And the word is hoxie, which means it's very dry. It's going to be dry all the way down in your throat. It's going to dry out your mouth. Hardly any flavor, any taste. And that is my interpretation of tuna in water. Pretty much hoxie in a can. Some fresh ground black pepper. I won't be adding any scotch bonnet or habanero or anything to this and I wish I did have a couple of pimento peppers to add in there. Pimento pepper is no heat, it's all about the flavor and that is why that pepper is called a seasoning pepper. But if you wanted to add something to kick up the spice level on it, the heat level on it, by all means do so. As the onion sweats in the pot there, I'm going to go in with a diced tomato and that is a medium tomato followed by some fresh thyme. Just gonna move that around. I want that tomato to soften up. And the whole idea here is to build flavor from the start. And it's building blocks. It's like we're building any strong building. We need that foundation, and this is the foundation here. Growing up in the Caribbean, you know, we have a little love for tomato ketchup so that is one teaspoon of tomato ketchup i put in there because i want a little bit of sweetness and the tomato ketchup will help give it a bit of color we also need some crushed garlic and that is five cloves of garlic five small cloves of garlic that i crushed i'm just gonna hit that a little mixy mix i'm gonna turn my heat up just a little bit more because as we added the tomato the temperature in the pot dropped here and I really want it to soften up a bit so we'll compensate for that by turning up the heat ever so slightly. I want some scallions in there and that is two scallions that I chopped up and for a deeper depth of flavor I like adding, well not only flavor but color, I like adding some tomato paste to the mix and that is just concentrated tomato, a tablespoon of that that will give you that sort of rich color that we want as well. And in stirring it, I'm pressing down the tomato paste directly onto the surface of the pan because what's going to happen, the heat is going to caramelize the natural sugars in that tomato paste, bringing out some lovely sweet notes. It's then time to add the canned tuna to the pot. Scrape down that last can in there. And the water, yes, some people would drain the water and not use it. Now, to bring this all together, I will need water. So rather than add tap water or whatever water to it, I kept the liquid from the can and I put it in there, as you saw. We just gotta give that a good stir. And in stirring, I'm breaking up the tuna into pieces. We ain't trying to have clumpy clump up in there. <laughs> clumpy clump, listen to this. Cut a hole now that way. Now the traditional way, instead of adding the tomato concentrate or paste to the pot, the traditional way if my grandma was making this, rest in peace granny, um, she would use ruku or uku, 
And this is one of them classic Wednesday night, you come home, you don't feel like cooking long, you have some rice in the fridge, or maybe you want to cook some white rice. White rice cooks relatively quickly, 10-15 minutes. All you would do is slam this on the stove here, top it on that rice, and I'm telling you, boy, you're eating like a royalty without spending royalty money. I'm telling you, boy, this thing is our best thing. <laughs> Sup, soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm mean, trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take me address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene. And this won't take long, the final couple steps. I've got the leaves of celery. Yes, yeah, celery. My great aunt, my father's aunt, she always finished off a lot of her dishes with the leaves of celery rather than parsley or coriander or anything like that. I'm telling you, if you ever had um, a chicken pilau finished with that celery leaf there, I'm telling you, boy, best thing, yeah? And I've got one more ingredient I need to add in there. Just before I turn up the stove, I've got some lemon juice. I just want to hit that with a bit of lemon juice just to fight the sort of fishy taste. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. I hope you all get an opportunity to give this one a try. Relatively cheap canned tuna. Relatively quick. Yeah, what, 10 minutes? Probably the time you would take to make some basmati rice or something. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Stewed tuna. Yo, give it a try. Irie. Irie. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.